Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then hello my name is Kate. So as you guys know today's video is going to be a huge Zara haul featuring everything that is on the rail behind me. As you can see it's very neutral and monochrome so if you've come here for some colour you're definitely on the wrong channel. But I picked up some really gorgeous pieces, lots of like very light feminine, bring some items that are really going to freshen up the wardrobe. Today's video is sponsored by Karma and you may have heard of them because they were previously known as Shop Tagger and and it's basically just the most amazing invention ever for any online shopper like me. If you haven't heard of them before, it's basically a Chrome extension that notifies you when anything goes into sale, if there are any coupons, or if anything is back in stock. And I've used it for years, and it honestly saved me so many times. For example, with a lot of the things in the rail behind me, they went out of stock straight away when the new collection came in. And then as soon as I got the notification on Karma saying my sizes were back in stock, I literally placed this whole order. Another thing I've used it for recently is my latest designer bag, which is the coach tabby and oh my god i just think she's so beautiful so perfect for like spring summer outfits i'll show you how i style it throughout the video but i purchased this from john lewis and i saved 20 percent on it using the karma app so originally it was over 300 pounds and i paid 279 for her and i'm super super happy it's really easy to use and it's almost just become like a habit of mine when online shopping so you just download the plugin and then whenever you're shopping the little karma icon will come up if you just click on that press save it will automatically notify you on either email or the mobile app when either it's in sale or your item is back in stock. It's also really handy as a way of organizing your online shopping. Instead of having loads and loads of tabs open, if you just save everything to the Karma saved list, it will all just be in one place there. And then you can organize that further into like folders such as like summer outfits. And then if you add something to your bag, Karma automatically scans the web for coupons and then it applies it to your checkout automatically. This feature is only available on the desktop Chrome extension. Another really cool feature about it is that you can actually earn cash back on so many retailers. For example, Selfridges, I know they do 2% cash back. So if you're doing any bigger purchases, it's definitely worth doing. And it's a kind of like a good little savings pot because it goes into your PayPal. So yeah, overall, I just think it's such a win-win shopping experience. You save so much money and you also get money back. So I'll pop the link to Karma down below in the description box if you guys want to get it, but I would highly recommend it. It just makes any shopping experience so seamless. And yeah, I don't know what I'd do without it. Anyway, I'm gonna start trying on everything on the rail behind me. As always, I'll put my size and links down below in the description box if you do wanna shop anything. And yeah, let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this beautiful white shirt dress. I feel like this went out of stock as soon as it came in the new spring collection. And I can see why. I just think it is so beautiful. I got this in an extra small and it was $29.99. So I'm going to go try this on now. So here's what the dress looks like on. And oh my god, I think it's so beautiful. It's so pretty and feminine. I love how it has that smart element with the shirt kind of vibe. But then the little detail of the bow and the low v-neck just makes it feel a little bit more glam. I would say it does come up a tad big on me. I'm normally a size six, but there's definitely a couple of extra inches around the waist and just at the bottom. I feel like if it was that little bit more short, like maybe two inches off the bottom, it would just suit me a little bit more, just with me being about five foot four. I like my mini dresses to be that little bit shorter, just so I appear a little bit taller and it just makes my legs look longer as well. My favorite feature of the dress is obviously the bow. I think it's so pretty, but it is just there purely for decoration. It doesn't actually have any function to it. I almost wish that Zara put an actual tie belt around the middle just so you could actually use it to really cinch in the waist rather than just hoping that it fits. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be keeping this but I will be just taking it to a tailor's to get it fitting just perfectly because it's definitely worth it. Another thing I would say it is a tad bit see-through although I have got dark under it on today. Um, but you'd definitely be okay if you just wore some nude underwear underneath. So I've to start this with some strappy heels from Boohoo. And I'd also just pair it with a little white bag to finish off the look completely. This is the kind of thing I'd wear to like a rooftop bar or maybe bottomless brunch with the girls or something like that. You could also wear this more of a day dress if you just paired it with some chunky trainers. But I think personally for me, this is more of an evening dress. Just with it being quite low cut. The next thing I've got to show you guys is this beautiful two-piece coat. So you have the trousers and then the matching blazer. So the material is this really nice, slightly textured linen-y feel material. They're kind of like that cigarette tapered style trouser, so nice and smart. Um, and it also comes with this really cute belt. Here's what it just looks like up close. It's this nice like weave style and it's got this like taupey stripe going down. But yeah, the blazer's just that really nice long boxy style that Zara really nailed. So I got the blazer in a size small and it was $59.99. And then the trousers in an extra small and these are $29.99. So let's go try this on. Okay, so I was not expecting to love this suit this much. I am obsessed. I just think this is such a spring look with the soft tailoring, the stripes, the blazer, just everything about this screams spring to me. 
and I love the fact that I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. So yeah, super excited about it. I started with the blazer. Um, actually, do you know what? I'll put it on properly so you can see. I really love the oversized fit. You could even wear this with this belt over the top as like a dress because it does come quite far down. It's a nice lightweight material. It feels really good quality. It does have pockets. They are currently sewn up at the moment. And then I also just love the kind of tortoiseshell buttons at the front. Um, so definitely keeping the blazer. And then the trousers, they are so high waisted. They literally come, like my bra is here and they come just below it, but I love that look. I think it's very flattering and quite modern. Um, it comes with a really cute belt and without the belt they would literally be around my hips These do come up very very large So yeah, definitely need the belt to really cinch you in but it gives that nice paper bag look that I just love It's got nice big pockets and I just love the whole like smart casual feel that they give So I've just paired it with my white Zara bodysuit underneath I feel like when something is baggy and baggy for example the blazer and the trousers I always pair it just with a tight top underneath just because the tightness of the top and the belt really bring the outfit in together and it's just a more flattering look in my opinion and then i've also paired it with my coach tabby bag and some ysl trainers just for like a casual everyday look if i'd wear this to go out for lunch or to go shopping i'd even wear this to like a casual meeting or something but if you wanted to dress it up you could definitely pair it with some like white strappy heels and that would look amazing for again a more of an occasion wear kind of thing and then of course you could wear the blazer on its own maybe over a beautiful white dress and you can wear the trousers on their own as well, or just like a bodysuit or a long sleeve tee if it is a bit cold. And then just to show you the trousers as well without the blazer on, um, as you can see, they are very high waisted and they are quite like a baggy oversized fit. So if you want it to be a bit more kind of tailored, then definitely go down a size or two. Okay, so the next item I've got to show you guys is this asymmetric ruffled top. I definitely think everyone is on the hunt for like those more glam going out outfits at the moment and jeans and a nice top is so foolproof. I love how simple and understated it is, but you can still tell that this is like a nice out out top so it has all of like this ruching going down the side and then it's got like a little elasticator tie i also picked up these trousers here to go with the top as like a full outfit so these are this really beautiful white linen material and the quality feels so good they were only 27.99 and these are that real like wide leg dad style trouser which is obviously a very classic style but i'm seeing so much fit on the catwalks for spring summer 21 so i love how these are a bit of a trend piece but they are also a classic thing that you can keep forever they've also got a really cute little black button detail which i really like so i'm gonna put these two together and see how it looks oh my goodness i love this outfit it is so simple and just so classy and i feel like it just looks really expensive as well so starting off with the top i wasn't expecting it to be this well fitting it really kind of hugs you and i just think it's a very flattering shape i also love how it is adjustable here and it's at quite a good length as well i think it comes to down about here but you can kind of ruffle it up and then the trousers so the trousers are very very long i don't know if you guys can see but even with like some little heels on they do trail on the ground so i'll definitely be getting these tailored um but i love the fit of them i love the flow the fabric just hangs so nicely and for 30 pounds i just think the quality it seems so good they are a tad tad bit see-through but like any white clothing garment i do always wear nude underwear underneath there anyway don't know why i went with black underwear today but yeah i'm actually obsessed with this outfit i can so see myself wearing this to like a nice dinner or something when we are allowed to when this video goes out we're going to be allowed to tomorrow oh my god guys let me know if you're all excited i really love how the little black button here just ties in with the top so it just looks like this outfit is made to be put together and then i probably started with like a black blazer just to keep me a bit warm as the english weather is still quite cool and then i'd wear like a cute little either wallet on a chain or a little black bag um just to finish off the look completely and with these white trousers these definitely don't have to just be a glam piece i'd wear these like on holiday with some nice brown sandals maybe a white shirt or a black t-shirt just to give it that more casual feel so these are a really great wardrobe staple whereas the top is more like an occasion wear thing okay so the next thing i'm going to show you guys is this cute little black dress this feels a bit more casual and a bit more everyday and i just think it's really cute and perfect for this weather i love the half sleeves and they're a little bit puffy as well and it's got like this elasticated waistband and then what i love most about it is this really cute lace skirt at the bottom i just think that's adorable and i just thought this would be a really great kind of like chuck on dress add some trainers that's just like a really quick and easy outfit i wasn't too sure how i'd feel about this dress because it's quite like cutesy but now it's on i think it's so nice and it actually does look quite like, sophisticated 
Um, I've just paired it with my Gucci loafers and my Saint Laurent bag. But like I said before, I think it would also look really cute with trainers. Oh, and I got this in a size extra small and it was $29.99. I know I forgot in the last section. But yeah, I just love how simple it is. Um, it's a nice length as well. It's not too short, not too long. And the fabric has a good amount of stiffness to it. I also love how comfortable it is. It feels very breathable and just very light. Like it almost feels like you're not wearing anything. Whilst it's cold as well, you can easily pop over a leather jacket just for the added warmth. And I actually think this would make a really cute office dress, obviously depending on the kind of office environment you're in. Just because it is quite modest, but also still cute. So you can pair this with some like little black heeled boots and that would also look really nice. Okay, so next up, up, we've got this really beautiful little blouse and I just think this is so cute. I love all of the details. I've gone a bit closer so you can see. So the fabric is like this cut out lace and it's got these really cute frills on the shoulders and then the sleeves are like a three quarter length. Um, my favourite part of this blouse though has got to be the back. I just think this is so elegant with the really simple strap going either side and the majority of it being backless but then it does come in at the bottom and I can't wait to see what this looks like on. So this was $29.99 and I got this in an extra small. So I really, really like this. I love the fit of it. Um, I really like how cropped it is as well. It kind of comes perfectly where your trousers would sit if they're high-waisted. And yeah, I just feel like it's really flattering very feminine again I know I'm saying that about everything the fit and I just love it so much I'm going to show you guys the back so here's what the back looks like and I just love the little details of it I think it's so gorgeous I do feel like this would look even better with a nice tan right now I've got a zero fake tan on and I've just paired these with some Zara trousers and some white loafers from Gucci this would be a really cute outfit to wear to like lunch or just like an everyday but slightly smarter outfit if I was to make it a little bit more casual I would just pair it with some mum jeans and some trainers and that would also look really nice that would be more appropriate for maybe like a casual picnic or just something a little bit low-key because yeah i feel like this pair of some smart trousers does just end up looking a bit smarter and yeah now i have it in white i really want it in black i'm actually not sure if they had it in black but if they do i'm definitely gonna pick one up because i do think it is just beautiful okay so next up i'm gonna show you the cutest cohort i really wanted like a little two-piece set as i don't really currently have one and i feel like zara always nailed their cohorts and how adorable is this? So you've got like the little shorts here. It's made out of like a kind of textured linen-y material, which is very lovely. Uh, I've got the shorts in an extra small and these are $25.99. And then the top is actually the same, extra small, $25.99. So the top is like a v-neck and then you've got these really cute little wooden buttons going down, which makes it feel very seasonal. You've also got a little tie and the half sleeves. And I love the colour as well. It's a very off-white colour, which makes it feel a lot more kind of casual. And gives it that slightly like worn vintage look that I love. Okay, so I love this. I think it's just adorable. I love the fit of it. It really kind of brings you in at the waist. And yeah, I could just see myself wearing this so much over the summer. Like to any garden parties or any barbecues. Or even just for like everyday running errands. I've just paired it with like some little trainers. And so it just feels very like relaxed and comfortable right now. But you could even pair this with like some little white strappy heels and make it more of a glam outfit. But yeah, I feel like for me this is an everyday cute and comfy outfit. And it's just an easy one to put together because you have the co-ord. I've just realised as well this co-ord gives me major Ganny vibes. Which is a brand that I love. And I'm always eyeing up their pieces but... I just haven't actually purchased anything from them yet. Um, anyway, right, on to the next piece. So next up we have this black skirt here. And it's this like really nice textured material, so it's definitely more of a casual skirt. Um, it's got a cute little bow here to tie it around the waist, and it's also slit from here all the way down. And I just thought this would be a really nice, kind of easy chuck on skirt. Just wear this with any plain t shirt and some trainers. And it's just such an easy look and something a little bit different to trousers. So perfect for the summer when you don't really want to be wearing anything too like stuffy and hot. And yeah, I actually don't own like a long black skirt like this, and I definitely feel like it's a good piece to any capsule wardrobe. So I'm really hoping I'm gonna fit nicely and I like it. This is 25 dollars and I've got this in a size extra small. So I'll just pair this with a plain black tee and a black belt. And what I really love about the skirt is the slit going up. I feel like it's the perfect amount of slit for like a daytime look. Um, I find often skirts are even far too high on the slit or they're too low. And I do think it is nice to have a little bit of leg out with these longer skirts. And it just makes a kind of very dark and heavy skirt feel a lot more light and more suitable towards the spring and summer. I think this is a really cute everyday look. I've just paired it with some trainers and I'll probably wear like a little YSL bag. I just love how comfortable it feels but it also does look quite smart at the same time. Um, again, I'll just chuck over a leather jacket on the top of this or even like a black blazer to warm it up a tad. The next item I've got to show you guys are these slim fit high-waisted trousers. 
good. As I'm sure a lot of you guys already know from my TikToks and my Reels and my Instagram, I've been loving those other high-waisted Zara trousers that are very similar to this, apart from they don't have the button. And yeah, I love them so much. I thought I'd try these ones as well, just to give me a couple more options as I've been getting a lot of wear out of them. And these ones just feel that slightest bit more casual. I don't know what it is about them. Maybe it's because they have like less of the darting seams going up here, or maybe it's because of the button. They're this really beautiful kind of creamy color with like a slight peach undertone, which I think is really beautiful. And I got these in a size six and they were $29.99. Okay, so I'm not 100% convinced on these. I want to like them and they feel really comfortable. They're like very snug around from like here upwards, but there's just something off about them that I can't work out what it is. I think maybe it's because they look smart, but they're also kind of casual at the same time. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something a bit off about them. They may look better like more of a strappy sandal. Um, I also tried loafers, but that didn't quite work either. So yeah, I think I will be returning these as I just can't imagine myself with loads of different outfits. And I always say, if you can't pitch out a few different outfits of an item, it may not be worth having. The other thing as well is it doesn't have any pockets, which is a bit of an issue for me because I do love a good pocket. And comparing them to the other Zara trousers that I said were very similar, like these are a lot more fitting around like the hips and everything. They're definitely a lot more slim fitting as well. The other ones are a bit wider going down the leg, but yeah, 100% prefer the other one. Okay, next up we've got this really cute black play suit. And I feel like this is very much my style. It's very smart, it's got like a lot of tailoring going down and it almost looks like a short and cropped blazer set, which is something that is very on trend at the moment. I love the little button here that just draws the eye in and it's a nice v-neck collared shape again. Does it have pockets? Oh, it does have pockets. Okay, that's good. I can really see myself wearing this on like a night out or something. I've got this one in size extra small and this one is a little bit more. This one is $49.99. Okay, so now I've tried it on. I do understand the higher price point. The tailoring on this is beautiful. It fits like a glove. It's so flattering. And I really love how the play suit looks almost like a little kind of skirt and cropped blazer look. And yeah, I honestly just love it. The only thing I would say, which is really frustrating, is you can't lift your arms higher than about here because if you do, it just kind of bunches up and it all just gets, and all just looks a bit odd. So yeah, saying that, I definitely wouldn't wear this out, like going out to out. It's more suited to like dinner and drinks where it's gonna be a bit more tame. But even if I want to like lift my arm and like sort out my hair, I kind of have to hold it down a bit. So like there's not a lot of movement this way, but other than that, as long as your arms are here down, it's all good. And I just feel like this play suit is so worth having that little bit of restriction because it is gorgeous. So I've just paired this with some little black strappy sandals, but you could also wear this with like some sock boots or like some barely theirs. And yeah, I just feel like this looks so expensive and I am obsessed with it. So this is gonna be staying as well. Okay, next up, I've got this blazer to show you guys. And first impressions, I'm not 100% sure about it. I think it is a beautiful blazer. The quality feels amazing. It's very kind of Chanel inspired with the tweed. It is mostly white and it has these little kind of cream specks, which make it feel very spring-like. Um, but yeah, I'm just not 100% soft on the buttons. I feel like they're just slightly too blingy for me. I'm normally much more of a fan of kind of like understated, um, more natural buttons. Um, and yeah, this was almost 80 pounds. So I think for a blazer that expensive, I definitely want to love it, not dislike it. But I'll try it on for you guys anyway. Okay, so it's got quite feminine tailoring. Like it definitely goes in at the waist and it's a little bit more fitted as opposed to the blazer I showed you guys earlier. And I definitely think that more like boxy style, dad style blazer is better suited to me. And yeah, I think I will return this as it just definitely isn't my style. But saying that, I do think it's beautiful and there's definitely some girls that this would look amazing on. It's kind of giving me like Gossip Girl mixed with the crown kind of vibes. And I'm really, really impressed with the quality. It feels absolutely amazing because it's nice and thick, but it's still like very movable, not at all stiff. So I really like that about it. So this will be going back. Okay, next up we've got another blazer and this one definitely seems more my style. It's made out of this like really gorgeous textured linen material and it's a little bit less structured, slightly more baggy with um, with big pockets at the front and then it does have this tie round belt which I think is a really nice feature. And I just really do love this oat muni color. I just think it looks so nice with like whites and neutrals, really making those like tonal textured outfits. So I'm excited to see what this looks like on. I got this in a size large and this was $59.99. Okay, so I much, much prefer this blazer. I think it's a lot more my style. It's also giving me very Jacquemus vibes, which 
I'm just here for. I feel like Zara have definitely had a lot of Jacquemus inspired pieces this year. And yeah, I just really like how light it feels. It, I think this would go with so many spring summer outfits. And I especially like the little tie in the middle. You can, of course, remove this, but I do think it makes it very cute and something a little bit different to my other blazers that I own. So I've just paired this with the same outfit as before, all black with some loafers, just for that more kind of everyday smart look. But for a more casual look, I'd maybe wear like a white dress underneath this, a nice bodycon one, or even like some little denim shorts and a white bodysuit. I think that would look really cute. And yeah, I do feel like it's that quite good mix between smart and casual. Smart with like the tailored blazer and the way it just looks quite expensive and then the belt to add the casualness and it is also slightly baggy as well so yeah this is definitely another one i'll be keeping okay so we are on to the final piece of this haul so if you've made it to the end well done because i know it's been quite a long one so finally i've got this really cute blazer style dress and i just love how this looks like a two-in-one so it looks like a blazer that's been tucked into a skirt without all of the faff of actually having to do that yourself. And it just looks really like streamlined and smart. It does look ever so slightly like military style, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I do think it's gonna look really nice on. And first thoughts are that it feels really nice quality. It's almost like a kind of silky material. It's double lined and it's got all of like these detailing with like the pockets and the skirt effect going on. So I picked this one up in a size extra small and this was 49.99. So again, a bit more expensive. So I'm expecting good things from this one. Okay, so I love the fit of this. I think it's really flattering and it just feels very expensive. I love how it has a lining. So it feels nice and silky on the skin. It fits really nice and snug around the waist i also love the length it's nice and short so i don't think i'm going to keep this one again i just don't really feel like this is quite my style this is slightly more girly preppy look that just isn't quite me but saying that i do love it and i think this would look gorgeous on somebody who it is more suited to um but yeah i just don't quite feel myself in this maybe if it was in black i would prefer it but i think the color is just not quite me it is this almost peachy apricotty very pale pink i've just paired this with some little white strappy heels and also my coach tabby bag and i think altogether it's a really cute look and something that i'd wear maybe an event or like an evening thing um but i would definitely say that if you are buying this then it is worth the money because i can really tell the quality and the fit is just that high level so yeah this cute little dress brings this haul to an end let me know what you guys thought of the way i filmed today i really am just trying out everything to see what works best and any constructive criticism is always welcome because I find it so helpful. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know what your favourite pieces were. If you have any questions for me, just leave them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you. I wish you all a lovely rest of the week. I love you all so, so, so much. Bye! Mwah.